Hello guys, it's Futon here, and today we're bringing you episode 4 of our Road to Purim Farms guide. Uh, today's topics will be going over sheep and how they work. Uh, note there are 7 different types of sheep, and the sheep are work on a very weird mechanic compared to nearly everything else. Only spiders actually run on a similar mechanic, um, which will just kind of will go over spiders a little bit too, but um, I will still be making a spider video regardless. Um, but again, the shiny in this ant case is a golden sheep here. Uh, there's white sheep, black sheep, summer downs, spring shield, winter wool, and fall face. As you notice, there's kind of something a little pattern here with seasons. So, but before we get off, how you get um, these are very simple. There's really no other options but animals. So right here is sheep, male, and female. Luckily for this, you could just buy one male and female to get started. If you're um, an Iron Man, you need to do this, then trait reroll them and do buy these until you get genetic mutation. Breed them for the secondary play. Um, two traders get the genetic instability, and then of course the radiant path that I explained. If you're an Iron Man, now note with this, um, it's plain and simple from there. But also for um, every account, you also need to buy the seasonalizer. This is also was used for the copper carbo beforehand, but it is actually very much required for these animals. So on screen, I'm going to be bringing up on how to do these different breeds because it's actually very time and um, season specific. Now note, if it is 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., you will be getting a black irie or um, a normal sheep. Now note, the animals are bred are actually born whenever you enter the farm. So what you could do is you literally could stop and visit your farm for about a day and then at 9 p.m. UTC, you literally could just teleport in the farm and you could breed the black sheep from there. It is very simple to do and like I said, you just don't go to the farm for a while, enough time to say the breeding pen definitely has something in it. So you literally teleport to the farm during that period and then that's in it is more like where the black sheep will be born, elsewise it would be the white. The no randomly you might get them all. But now, um, for the season wise, you see that all these different ones, the winter wool is born during winter, fall face during autumn and fall, summer down during summer, and spring shield during spring. Now, no. Yeah, well, that's still what you would think would take forever. Well, the season wise is here. And literally, you can swap between the seasons and it'll actually affect the animals. So, you literally, what you do is you get the double radiant sheet, you um, set it to spring. When you get spring down, you set it to summer. When you get summer, set it to autumn. I think you get the picture by now. These could literally be used to manipulate the sheep and um, spiders as well. Um, but the, we're just talking about sheep here to the seasons that you actually need. Um, and then as a note, white is just during the day and black is general during the night. And golden is during the, um, that's a shiny. So that's really all there is to sheep. Sheep are plain and simple forward. You just have to remember that you have to use a seasonalizer to get the different um, seasons. And no, um, there's also an achievement for rams. So if you can get them all male for Ironman and dump them all in a pen, you also get an achievement for that, just to know. Um, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. But like I said, just getting a double radiant for the golden sheep really is the problem. And just checking them off one by one. Once you have them all done, the seasonalizer is useless for this animal. And you can just leave it on whatever you want. So hopefully this brings up how these work. And um, it's a simple enough explanation. So thank you guys very much for watching. And have a wonderful day.